Hello and welcome to the Witch's Cottage. My name is Jess and every week I go thrifting for vintage items that I can sell in my Etsy shop. As usual, today I'm going to be showing off my haul of stuff that I got. It's a pretty small haul today because I didn't actually do that much thrifting this week. I actually just went thrifting yesterday, but I went to a lot of places yesterday. I dropped Lawrence off for work in the morning and then I went to drop off some local orders and then I just went thrifting all day until I came back and picked Lawrence back up from his shift. So uh, I was still pretty picky, I didn't get all that much, but uh, I think I got a pretty good haul, so let's get started. Uh, so first of all, I have this fun brass photo frame, it is shaped like a school bus, it says school days, and basically you just put a picture of your kid in each one for every uh, year of school. I don't have kids, I'm not really a kid person, but I thought that this could be really fun for someone who just wants to keep like a visual record of their kids journey from all the way from grade 1 to grade 12. So it's pretty nice. It's got uh, this nice backing. It's got a chain to hang. It was made in Taiwan. It's made of solid brass and I just think it's fun. So there's that. Uh, I got this very pretty mug. Uh, this is hand painted in Italy. So that's pretty nice. It's got this like gold paint and uh, it's pretty design. So I thought that was nice. Someone will enjoy that. Um, on the topic of mugs, I also got this beautiful silver plated mug. Um, I love the like the uh, um, electro plating it has the effect of this kind of like oil slick color sometimes, which is super cool. Uh, it does say H-O-F-S E-P-N-E-S. So electroplated nickel silver. I'm not sure what H-O-F-S or maybe H of S. I'm not sure. I'll have to do a little bit of research, but there's that. It is very nice and fancy if you want to feel special when drinking your beverage. So there's that. Uh, I'm still on the Raku train not an obsession it's just an interest <laughs> this is a beautiful piece um, if you haven't seen my other videos on Raku Raku is done by glazing your pottery in the special glaze you fire it and you take it out of the kiln while it is still red hot and then you put it directly into a container with combustible material so so paper or straw and the flames cause it to get this beautiful unique textured and actually it looks like it like crackled um, and then anywhere that the clay is left white it will turn black from the smoke so this is a really cool piece I really like it I don't think it is signed it's not signed um, it's a little bit irregular I I I don't know if it was done by like an artisan or just a hobbyist it's got this nice like pinched pot on the top so yeah that's a nice one um, I grabbed this adorable little mortar and pestle it's a really sweet nice size um, this is perfect for if you want to grind up your own herbs or you want to make tea or just it's just this a classic sort of old-fashioned kitchen staple um, and it's made out of this really nice stone. I think that it maybe it's like a sandstone or something. I'm not sure, but these uh, sell really well for me. So um, I'm excited about this one. I just think it's really cute. I just love the size of it. So that's nice. Uh, I got a few little pieces of jewelry. I grabbed this. I think that these are glass. I don't think they're actual stones, but I just think that this is so cute. It reminds me of candy corn. It feels super Halloween-y. And it's just this cute little pin. So I love that. And then this, I believe, is actual crystal. I think this is quartz. And this is this cute little bow tie, little bow with the crystal hanging from it. I think it's quartz. It's got a little bit of like a smoky and maybe a little bit of a pinkness to it. There was actually a bunch of these. Um, 
but I I didn't like any of them as much. I don't think that they had like there was one with goldstone, which is a nice stone, but it's it's a like man-made stone. Uh, and then there was one that it just like the glue application was kind of not the best. So I just ended up getting the one that I really liked. And I just think this would look super cute on like a lapel if you want to take a little bit of quartz with you. Uh, yeah, so that's nice. Um, I grabbed this. I don't think this is super old. It, it's probably vintage, but uh, I just couldn't. It's a cat. Like, I couldn't not get the cat. It's a candle holder. It's made in India. You can tell it's more modern by the, um, by the screws. But I like it. I think it's probably cuter. And I don't know. You could put, like, just, like, some crystals on here or a little another little candle or just pretty. Uh, I have some glass. I have some Fenton glass. Very fancy. So to start with we have this. This is Amberina. So Amberina goes from kind of like a yellow to a darker red. I love Amberina. This is like some of it gets really dramatic with the dramatic with a really dramatic transition from from orange and yellow yellow to orange to red. But this is a nice little example. Uh, these little spots are called hobnail, and then this is like a ruffle edge. Uh, this will be by the company Fenton, and it's just really pretty. Uh, it's good quality glass. You can tell that it's not flash glass, like the color isn't just applied, like the glass is actually that color. Uh, and then along with this one, I also got this lovely little swirl candy dish. Uh, I was able to search this one up online and found that this one was made in the 1970s, also by Fenton. Um, and I mean, if you collect glass and you have like all the different colors and you put them in your window in the sun, so beautiful. Like I'm very tempted to start a glass collection, but I think I'd better not. But anyway, those are, those are nice. You can, one thing you can actually tell how old, if glass is older is it will have these mold marks from being pressed. It's pressed glass. Um, and that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad quality, it just means that it was made earlier. So that's, uh, you know, that's it differentiates from, like, blown glass in that it was made in a mold. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, again, this is blue all through, it's not just flashed. And these are both in really good condition. Uh, they don't have any chips or anything, so I like those. I actually got those from two different stores, I just happened to run across a couple different pieces of glass. Uh, just some folk art. I'm a sucker for this kind of thing. Just hand painted flowers and this like simple style on like a nice piece of wood stained. This, I mean, if you have like a colorful boho house, you just hang this up with a bunch of other colorful designs and it's so pretty. Somebody, like they didn't sign it, but I think they did a great job. It's nothing like super complicated, but it's just nice. It's just colorful and cheerful. Uh, I got some needlepoint. Um, these are, this is a cross stitch. It's not like the most amazingly executed cross stitch or anything, but I just think it's so cute. It's little, little mice in a boot with flowers. You can see it was all hand cross stitched. And you could, uh, you could keep it in this frame or you could take it out of the frame and reframe it or you could even like make it into a pillow or something um it's got this isn't like i think it's glass but it's like that kind of plasticky textured glass so it's not gonna like break which is nice um and it's got the wire to hang it at the back but i just think it's cute look at those cute little mice they're so cute uh oh i got some erotica this is the sleeping beauty adventures by anne rice originally writing under the pen name a n roquelaire it's a set of th all three books one two and three uh i think i paid 2.99 1.99 and 1.99 and these individually sell for about 12 dollars so it wouldn't be a bad investment uh if i was just buying one but, you know, buying all three, I can take pictures of them all together, list them all together, and for a $7 investment, I can probably get about 30 bucks. So, it's a pretty good deal. 
Uh, these are published in the 1980s. I think they're quite nice. I like the color. And uh, yeah, they're interesting books. I think I read the beginning of the first one that I took out of the library because I liked Anne Rice and I was probably too young to read it and was uh, slightly scarred. Uh, I would maybe give it another chance now that I'm older, but uh, you know, if you like Anne Rice or if you're a fan of that kind of book, this is a really nice set. So just this cute little, little brass box with the butterfly on top. I just thought that was nice. I I don't sell a lot of trinket boxes, but I'm going to try to get into trinket boxes more because apparently they can sell quite well. Uh, this is marked just with a couple of numbers. I don't know if you can see it just says 28 on the back there. So I don't know. It's not got a stick or anything. I would guess that it was made in India just because a lot of brass is. But uh, I just think it's nice. Um, and then we have some silver. And it's a teapot, and I am a sucker for anything tea-related, and this is just so classy and Victorian. It's not actually that old, it's actually uh, got a date on the bottom. It says, Gottinger Silver, 1993. You probably cannot see it, but I'll hold it up anyway. Um, I wonder if this is silver plate or if it's sterling. I don't think it's sterling. Um... That would be cool, but I, I'm thinking it's silver plate. Um, but anyway, it's just nice. Nice little teapot napkin holder. Uh, and then finally, I got this beautiful Bastet statuette. Uh, this is more modern than the other one that I had. Um, and unfortunately, it's got a little chip on its ear, which I didn't notice when I bought it. Um, but I actually have already sold this to a friend of mine who loves Bastet, so I think that she will go to a great home and she's super pretty so there's that there's one other thing that i got i forgot to bring it over here i'm gonna go grab it last thing i got this for myself um it's not anything that special it's a number four tea shop countryside collection britain in miniature handcrafted by tay pottery banham norfolk england but i love it because it is a little tea shop and one day I would love to have a little tea shop, a little antique and metaphysical tea shop that you can just go in and sit by the fire and there'll be beautiful music playing and you can browse the antiques, you can browse the incense and candles and all that stuff and you can have a cup of tea and sip. And that's what this reminds me of, so it's going on my mantelpiece. And yeah, I believe that is everything that I got this week. So thank you so much for watching. Um, please leave a comment and like this video uh, and consider subscribing. I try to put up a video every week. I have been putting up a video every week. I can't promise that I always will, but I'm always going thrifting, so I'm always gonna have stuff to show off. Um, if you would like to purchase anything that you saw today, uh, you can email me or you can check out my Etsy shop. It's thewitchescottageshop.etsy.com. You can follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. I can't believe I almost forgot to show this off. This is like the best thing I got. <laughs> it is, you know what I said I have to buy something ridiculous every time I go thrifting. Well, this was it today. This is a like kitschy 70s live edge glazed within an inch of its life clock but it is a sparkly rainbow unicorn. That's pretty amazing. It's got a little bit of schmutz. I think I can get that off. I tested it, the clock works. Amazing, love it. Okay, bye.